for about 32 years now, dude. Okay? And he still obviously hasn't fucking learned the fucking golden rule. When you bring a fucking girl on stage, she has to reward you somehow. She either has to suck your dick, or... Well, she has to suck your dick. Yeah, suck your dick. That's pretty much it. And all those girls came on stage, and not one of those fucking girls sucked on our lead singer's dick. Nope, I didn't see it, and they were hot, too. That's fucking totally fucking lame, and I only have to assume the reason for that is because he can't get a fucking bone anymore. <laughs> now, usually you can tell when the lead singer can't get a boner because that's right around the period when the band starts doing ballads with a big white piano. <laughs> I know. And it just happened to show up right after he couldn't get a boner. Sticks, you used to have three candles there. Yeah. That's kind of sad. It is sad. Don't you think you should just break the other one off so you only have one candle? It'd make more sense. I like to. Kind of sexy. Make some noise for Sticks' candle out, brother. And Sticks, make some noise for Sticks on the piano. That's pretty badass. Sticks got that candle out, bro, from Liberace. Right after he sucked his dick. We want to do a song right now. I don't know how this happened, but it became one of our biggest songs we've ever written. And still, we haven't sold one of them. This happened online. We know people that on a computer. And we somehow put this video online, and it blew up. And overnight, it had like 10 million, or 14 million, or 25 billion views. Okay? We touched people's hearts with the, the emotional subject matter of the song. It's something everyone can relate to. It's about our hatred for Kanye.